So uh, this now is the control panel for you to manipulate and input content on your site. It's uh, passworded to you. You can, if you wish, going on in this area of users, you can use this to have other people be your backup administrator or give them lesser degrees of responsibility. Say, for example, uh, someone, all they can do is write blog articles. And you can even uh, delegate the authority that you would need to approve before they would do a blog article and publish it. So it's, uh, it's really flexible uh, as an input device for you, but you can, you can have one person or even a team work with you on the website and uh, modulate how they're going to interact. So uh, what I like to do now is go down this left hand uh, area and look at some of the, the sort of the most popular places for, for learning the application. Media, as you can imagine, is a collection of images, uh, it even be PDF documents that you're actually using in the site. And you go to this, uh, uh, this particular area and you can add to that. You can add to it from Google Photos. There's a free library called Pixels Free Photos that's built into WordPress.com. It gives you lots of free images on all kinds of subjects for you to add to your, to your uh, uh, media library. The uh, next area I want to look at is the uh, really the bread and butter of the site, which are uh, uh, posts and pages. Posts are the variable uh, content, typically a blog article that you're that's changing over time. And uh, this is your area that you can edit these further once they're published. So I can either go over here on this toggle and edit, or I can just click and go right into the, the particular article. So uh, this is the uh, uh, imaginary trip to New York City for a trade expo, market expo. And if you click on this, you will see, okay, this is a paragraph. This is what I mean by blocks. This is a, uh, an image within uh, an overall uh, tier, tiled gallery image. Now that, that snazzy layout is something that's done for me by WordPress and I have various options to style it. Uh, we have some more paragraph text. Uh, this is a subtitle, it's called a heading. Uh, these are buttons. And uh, if I click on this, uh, it's going to indicate that these are various kinds of, of buttons that I'm using. And here it's explained here, uh, select buttons. And I can you look off to the right. I can uh, change the color. It's currently orange. Change the color of the text. And I can do some manipulation, uh, bold, italics, whatever, uh, right above the, the particular module. So the, this usage of blocks, uh, these various mini templates to put together a, a page can be very powerful. 